everyone, it's Diabetic Danica. Have you ever been planning a trip and wondered, can I bring my Dexcom through the walk-in metal detector at the airport? What about full body scanners? Can I use my Dexcom on an airplane? If so, this video is for you. You can go through walk-in metal detectors or be hand wanded without worrying about any damage to your transmitter or sensor. Additionally, there's always the option of letting the security officer know that you would like a full body pat down instead. Just let them know that the sensor can't be removed because it's inserted underneath the skin. A little education can go a long way, so don't hesitate to fully explain to the security guard what you can and cannot do with your medical device. I know for me, one time I did not fully explain it very well and I had to get a full body pat down and then the next time I just explained it a little bit better and I was able to avoid that awkward situation. Full body scanners, also called AIT or millimeter wave scanners, have not been tested and could potentially affect the system so avoid using these just in case. Now as far as baggage goes, don't put any of the Dexcom components such as receivers, extra transmitters, or sensors through baggage x-ray machines. You can ask the TSA officer to perform a visual inspection, just make sure you put all these components in a separate bag before you hand it to them. The Dexcom G5 can be used on any US commercial flight. You can keep your receiver on in the plane to look at readings. And if you use a smart device, you can keep your phone in airplane mode, but just choose to have your Bluetooth on, so that way you still receive your glucose information. And that's it. Thanks for watching and happy travels. Bye.